Hi, welcome back and this is Nook. Tonight we're going to be making some wet burritos and I will show you what I'm going to go ahead and do here. And in my pan here I have some uh, mixture of some ground beef and some ground turkey because I don't care for ground turkey very much even though I can't taste it. I still don't like the taste of it. So I thought the ground beef would kind of help, I don't know, make it so it's better. So anyways, I'm going to bring this down here. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn this on. And I am going to, I forgot to bring this over here. I'm going to go ahead and get this started here too. I'm going to just kind of smash my home can um, pinto beans just a little bit. I, For one thing, I mean, I have decided I do like pinto beans. And also this does help stretch the meal so you don't have to use as much meat you don't have to use as much everything because you know it, it stretches out the meal nicely and I do like it a little bit more meaty so instead of using my immersion blender I've just been kind of smushing it up a little bit and I'll go ahead and put that in there then I actually have my own canned enchilada sauce. That fork. Now years ago, I mean I'm talking like the 80s and I'm not trying to date myself or anything because you guys all know how old I am, but um, years ago my parents, we used to have a cabin. It wasn't really a cabin, it was actually a, uh, a camper on some land up in New Ago. And I guess one of the <clears throat> local bars up there, you know, because us kids, of course, we weren't old enough so we couldn't go even if we wanted to. But they had a wet burrito up there and they made it with actually brown gravy. I know most people, they have it with enchilada sauce on the top and that's fine. But they, <clears throat> they did it that way. So let me get my measuring spoon. I forgot about that. Okay, sorry about that. So I'm using my homemade brown gravy mix also. And I have two cups of water in here because I'm not a super big fan of gravy. However, I do really like brown gravy. I like my burritos smothered in gravy. So it works out that way. And what's going to happen is once this gets a little bit done, because it's going to be a nice tan color. But my mom always used this stuff and it helps brown it. It makes it look prettier. And in other videos, you've seen me use this little nice uh coffee whisk type thing and that works very well mixing this up and then from there I will just stir it so it doesn't stick to the bottom but that goes together as you can see that goes together very very nice but you see like the the tannish color that it is I like my brown gravy to be brown gravy so anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and put a few drops of this in here and then what's we're going to do is do uh, some, I'm going to just go ahead and use this so I don't waste more spoons. Let's see how that turns in a nicer, more um, brown. And then this will warm up and the gravy will thicken. And I'll have lettuce, tomato, onions. And I will um, I'll bring you over, I'll put this on pause for a second, bring you over to the other counter. And I'll show you on the chopper here. Any of you guys have been watching my videos? know that I love my Vidalia chopper and it makes the tomatoes and onions or whatever you chop in here a really nice like I say like taco bell size and because I don't want to do more dishes I'm gonna do both my tomatoes and my onions in here at the same time and then we're just going to use the shredded lettuce from the store so there's the onions and there's the tomatoes and that will be for tonight and then um, I'll go ahead and get this going and we'll get the burrito shells out and uh, get this dinner going here and I'll bring you right back all right we'll start getting this meat and stuff in here now this is going to be the meat and the beans and the enchilada sauce will go on each shell.
and obviously there's enough left over for probably two more burritos, but we're not going to do that. And I like cheese inside and out of my burrito. My husband likes only a little bit of cheese, so I'm only going to do just a little bit. And then, this is where people do it a little bit differently. I'm not very prepared today, I can tell you. Um, I put the brown gravy on both the inside and the outside. So, I mean, look how nice and thick that gravy got. Now, I will post and link my uh, homemade gravy uh, dry mix. I mean, this so far has saved me so much money, it's not even funny. So, I'm going to put some onions in here. I'm going to put a little bit more because I like a lot of onions. My husband likes onions, but I don't think he appreciates them as much as I do. And he also don't like as much tomato as I do. So I'll go ahead and just take my extra right there. And then put a little bit of lettuce. Now I am not any good at wrapping these burrito shells. I never have been. I've never worked at Taco Bell. So yeah, it's probably going to be like an epic fail, but hey, whatever. Anyways. So, obviously, you bring the sides in, bring this, and you kind of like keep the sides tucked and you try to kind of roll it. That doesn't look too bad. That's mine. And then this will be my husband's. My burrito looks way bigger than it is, but maybe because I have more toppings on mine. And then we'll use up the rest of this cheese. And then we'll go ahead and pour some more gravy over the top. Like I said, my parents found this at a bar years ago. I guess the bar my sister used to work at. They did it with brown gravy too. It's been years since I've um ate at that restaurant that she was talking about so anyway so there's a quick easy dinner like I said there's enough left over for um, another meal and then meanwhile here's what burritos for tonight so thank you very much for stopping by oh yeah I wanted to show you guys this I made another loaf of bread today and that's too pretty anyways um so yeah that's a quick easy meal and now what's going to happen with that I'll probably just put that in a um in a uh, vacuum seal bag saying wet burrito so um, when we do want to have wet burritos again I don't have to break out everything I will just have to do the lesson tomato and the such so this is day 26 of the no buy dinners uh, thank you very much for stopping by I will link the gra the gravy uh, dry mix so you can make some of that yourself and thank you very much for stopping by you have a very blessed and wonderful day okay